Good morning, this is Sister Sheila, and I'm delighted to welcome you to the Worship Experience today. Thank you so much for joining us. So now join me as we go to our Worship Experience. another day that we have an opportunity to worship and praise our God. Hallelujah. And this is also International Women's History Month. And the woman we'd like to fe feature today is Bishop Mildred Bonnie Hines. 
Mildred Bonnie Hines is the first of five daughters born to Roscoe and Joanne Gwen Hines of Mount Airy, North Carolina. She received her schooling in the public county schools in Surrey County, North Carolina. She was awarded a Master's of Divinity from the Interdenominational Theological Center in Atlanta, Georgia, and certification in clinical pastoral counseling from the Colgate Rochester School of Divinity in Rochester, New York. She was also awarded a Doctor of Ministry from ITC in Atlanta, Georgia. Bishop Himes pastored several churches in the Emmy Zion Church. On July 18, 2008 in Atlanta, Georgia, at the 48th General Conference of the African Methodist Episcopal Zion Church, she was elected as the 98th Bishop in the line of succession of the AME Zion Church. She is the first and only female to be elected to the Episcopacy in the history of the denomination. And on February the 20th, 2013, she became the first female to head the AME Zion Church when she was elected president of the Board of Bishops. Bishop Hines' first assignment was the Western West Africa Episcopal District, which included over 450 churches. Uh, she then was assigned to the Southwestern Delta Episcopal District, which includes churches in Arkansas, Louisiana, Oklahoma, Mississippi, Texas, and West Tennessee. She currently serves as Bishop of the South Atlantic Episcopal District, which includes the churches in South Carolina and Georgia. Bishop Mildred Hines, we salute you. Let us bow our heads for the invocation. Spirit of the living God, we welcome you into this worship of God. We welcome you to have thine own way. We welcome you to minister to each and every one that is viewing this worship service. Minister to them, oh God. Anoint them. Give them what they need at this needed time, oh God. And we'll be careful to give you all the praises in Jesus' name. Amen. And thank you, God. Amen. Amen. We thank you all for joining us this morning in worship. We're going to go back to an old familiar hymn, Hold to God's Unchanging Hand. Amen. In this season, in this time that we're living in, we need to hold to God's unchanging hand. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Time is filled with swift transition. Now Still more closely to 
scripture will be coming from Psalms the 46th chapter beginning at the first verse. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, will not we fear though the earth be removed and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters thereof war and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof, Selah. There is a river, the streams whereof shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacles of the Most High. God is in the midst of her, she shall not be moved. God shall help her, and that right early. The heathen raged, the kingdoms were moved, he uttered his voice, the earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us, the God of Jacob is our refuge, Selah. Come, behold the works of the Lord. What desolations he hath made in the earth? He maketh wars to cease until the end of the earth. He breaketh the bow and cutteth the spear in sunder. He burneth the chariot in the fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Selah. I read to you. Psalms, the 46th chapter, verses 1 through 11. Oh, Father God, right now, in the name of Jesus, Lord, forgive us for any sins we've committed by thought, word, or deeds. For you are a forgiving God. Wash us, Jesus, in your blood, Lord. Wash us and clean us, Lord. Lord, help us, Lord. Help us to love one another. Help us, God. Oh, to be patient with each other, God. Help us, God, to be understanding with each other. Help us, God, or oh, to be the children that you're looking for in the last days. Oh, Father God, if our body need healing, Lord, Lord, we ask you to send your healer down, Lord. Heal all of our bodies, Lord physically and spiritually, Lord, and financially, Lord. Lord, we ask you right now, God, oh, overlook all of our thoughts today, Father, and see our needs, Lord. Lord, we ask you right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus, to fight for your children. Fight for us, God, all over the world, God. Oh, God, fight for us, God. Oh, God, help us, God, to be more loving, to be more kind, to be more generosity. Oh, God, we ask you right now, God, to forgive us, God, and let us, God, praise your
your name, Lord, in the beauty of holiness, Lord, while the blood is running warm in our veins, Lord. Lord, we ask you right now, Lord, give us new revelations. Lord, we ask you right now, Lord, empower us, God, physically and spiritually. Oh, God, we ask you right now, Lord, let us be the children that you're looking for in the last days, Lord. Lord, let us be loving. Let us be kind. Let us be generous to each other, God. Oh, God, we ask you right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus, help us to figure it out by ourselves and just totally, totally focus on you, Lord. Oh, Lord, all those things I did not pray for. Oh, God, we ask you right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus, intercede for us, Lord. Intercede for us on our behalf. Intercede, Lord, for we are your children, Lord. Oh, Father God, we pleading with you today, Lord. Intercede for us, Lord, for we all need something, Lord. It may be different to us, God, but to you, God, you're dealing with it all, God. There's nothing too hard for you to do, Lord. In the name of Jesus, amen, amen, amen. Greetings to everyone in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We are blessed to be here on this occasion, celebrating Women's International History Month, and to hear this woman of God share a message with us on tonight. Born and lived here in the PD of South Carolina all her life, she is the eldest of nine siblings. She is the mother of three and the grandmother of three boys. She's employed in the healthcare industry for 16 years. She's blessed to be born into a large family of ministers and teachers for Jesus Christ, who she got the witness and saw the minister in the field. And from a small child, she has always been an encouragement and inspiration, not only to us, her family, but also to friends and also to the community who recognize and respect her as the woman of God she is. She was called and has been in the ministry 17 years. She has worked in the gospel field as an evangelist for many years. She attended the Bread of Life Bible College under Bishop Mobley. Today, she co-pastors along with our senior pastor, Jacqueline Harris, at her home church, which is Matthew Hill in Hemingway. She is also the daughter of the late Deacon Jesse Eady. She is my daughter. She is also my sister in Christ congregation. I present to you, Pastor Melissa Edie Weaver.
We thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I bow before you, God. Yeah, 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 I thank yeah, you yeah, for your presence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 I bless your name, God. Hallelujah. 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 We thank you for praying. Hallelujah. For praying to set the house of God. And we thank you. And we bless your name, God. Just for who you are. We thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come to you once more giving you honor, giving you glory, God, that you are so worthy of, God. We lift you up and we tell you thank you right now, God. Hallelujah. Speak to your servant and through your servant, God, to your people, God, that they may grab a hold to this word, God. Hallelujah. Be something. Hallelujah. Let it be for the nourishment of their physical, of their yes. spiritual soul, yes. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you, God. Thank you. We give you honor. We give you glory. Yes, we thank you for being you tonight, you, God. Jesus. We thank you for coming and dwelling yes. among us. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Yes, Lord. Amen. 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 Thank you, God. Hallelujah. 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 We've honored the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. I give honor to each of you who sit among me tonight. Hallelujah. Because you could have been anywhere else. Mm -hmm. Well, we thank you for being here tonight. Ma, thank you for that warm greeting. Mm -hmm. For that warm introduction. I thank Amen. you for that. Amen. Hallelujah. Who knows you better than your mother? Amen. Thank God for her. And we want to thank St. James A.M.E. Zion, yes. Pastor Harry Jones, yes. and Lady Latanya, Reverend Latanya Jones. We thank them for the opportunity tonight. Yes. I want to give a shout out to Dion Jones. Hallelujah. We yes. thank God for him. Yes. And we thank God for our opportunity just to share a little bit with you on this Women's International History Month. Mm -hmm. We thank God for women. Hallelujah. And the scripture tonight, I have many scriptures, but I'm going to start with um, 1 Corinthians 11 and 9. Hallelujah. For indeed, man was not created for the woman's sake, but the woman for the man's sake. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to move on down 
to 2 Corinthians 11 and 3. But I am afraid that as the serpent deceived Eve by his craftiness, your minds will be led astray from the simplicity and the purity of devotion to Christ. Amen. God's word to God's people. Mm -hmm. And we're we going to come back to that in just a moment. From the early days of the church, God has used women to teach and preach the gospel. But for those who say that women shouldn't carry the word, Mary, a young girl that the angel appeared to, was the first woman to carry the living word. Amen. History is filled with spirit-filled women preaching the gospel. And yet, there are those that take the scripture out of text and say that women should not be in the pulpit. Mm -hmm. But I say to you tonight that women have came a long way. So it's only fitting that we celebrate women's history around the world internationally. Amen. Shirley Chisholm, the second African-American woman to serve, elected to serve in the New York legislature in Albany, New York, said, tremendous amount of talent are being lost to our society just because that talent wears a skirt. Uh -huh. Hillary Clinton said, every woman deserves the chance to realize her God-given potential. Yes. Former Secretary of State and First Woman nominated for U.S. President. Serena Williams, a professional tennis player mm -hmm. who has won more single titles than any man or woman, said that success of every woman should be the inspiration to another. We should raise each other up, make sure you're very courageous, be strong, be extremely kind, and alone, always be humble. Uh -huh. We have influential women of the Bible that impacted not only the nation of Israel, but also eternal history. Some women were saints, some were angels. Uh -huh. A few of them were queens, but most of them were just common, everyday, ordinary people. Mm -hmm. But they all played a role in the Bible. Each woman brought her own unique character to the situation that she went through. And for that, we'll always and forever remember these women of the Bible. The first of them was the first woman that God ever created. Eve. Eve was created to be the helper to Adam. Mm -hmm. Going back to the scripture. Yes. Everything was perfect in the Garden of Eden until Eve started believing the lies of Satan and influenced Adam to eat the fruit from the tree of knowledge yes. of good and evil. Mm -hmm. Breaking God's command. Eve's lesson was costly. Yeah. Never ever get so close to the enemy that you allow him to trick you. Yeah. Because when you, when we choose our own selfish desire over God's command, bad consequences is always going to follow That's you. That's right. Lesson learned. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Next, we go to Deborah. Deborah played a unique role in Israel's history as the only female judge in a lawless period before the country got its first king. Deborah's wisdom and faith in God inspired the people. Mm -hmm. Thanks to her leadership, Israel enjoyed peace for 40 years. Yes. Hannah. Hannah was an example of perseverance in prayer. Bearing for many years, she prayed without ceasing for a child until God granted her her request. Amen. She gave birth to Samuel. What's more, she honored 
her promise by giving God, Samuel, back to God. Mm -hmm. Samuel eventually became the last of Israel's judges. Samuel was a prophet, and Samuel was also a counselor to the kings. He was. King David mm -hmm. and King Saul. Yes. We learned from Hannah tonight that when you give God, your, when you give God your greatest desire, and you give God glory, mm -hmm. he will grant you your request. Yes. When your greatest desire, let me back up, is to give God glory, he will grant your request. Yes. Hallelujah. Last but certainly not least, Mary, the obedient mother of Jesus. Mary was a touching example in the Bible. She totally surrendered to the will of God. An angel told her that she would become the mother of the Savior through the Holy Spirit. Yes. Despite potential shame, Mary submitted. She gave birth to the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Yes. Mary and Joseph married, mm -hmm. serving as parents to the Son of God. During her life, Mary bore much sorrow, including watching her son, Jesus, die upon the cross. But that wasn't all. She also was able to watch him be rose on the third day with all power in his hand. Mm -hmm. Mary, hallelujah, a devoted servant who honored God by telling him yes, yes. by doing what he commanded her to do. Yes. Even though she was a young girl, mm -hmm. even though she was young and she didn't know what to expect, Mary honored God and said yes to your will. And yes to your way. Yes. Hallelujah. From Mary to Sarah, there's no shortage of incredible women who made their Christian mark on the world. And still yet today, God continues to make incredible Christian women like you and me. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. We got a different story, but we still have the same unwavering faith. Mm -hmm. We still have the trust of God. We still have to have patience. Yeah. Uh, the belief that he's going to do exactly what he said he would do. Yes. We still have to have perseverance. We have to keep persevering and keep going on in Jesus name. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. We as women have had a hard way to go. But God has blessed us tremendously. Yes. yes, yes. To be in the places that we are today. Yes. To be able to praise God freely. Hallelujah. Yes. To be able to honor God freely. Yes. We thank God for where he has put women today. Yes. Thank God you. bless you and may heaven shine upon you. Praise God. We have just heard a word from God. Pastor Melissa Eady, and we are praying that you have been inspired to go to another level in God. At this time now, those of you that feel and yearning to accept the Lord Jesus as your personal Savior, I'm asking you to repeat after me. Dear God, I'm a sinner. Forgive me of my sin. Clean me up. Lord, I confess that you are my Lord and Savior and that you died for me. And not only did you die for me, but you rose from the dead and you are alive today. I thank you for saving me. I thank you for filling me with the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, amen. And if you have prayed that prayer, begin to rejoice and know without a shadow of a doubt that God has saved you. God has accepted you in his family, in Jesus' name. Now, those of you that are looking for a church home, St. James in Kissimmee, Florida, welcomes you to be a part of the family. It doesn't matter where you are. We're virtual. You can be Wherever you are, we welcome you. We receive you into our home. So call the number on the screen 
or place it in the chat or what have you in the comments that you like to be a part of our home, we welcome you. And finally, those that uh, desire prayer, call the number on the screen. You have something in particular that you need prayer and support, call and we will pray with you. In Jesus' name, God bless you. It's giving time. And the ways to give is as follows. You can give through PayPal, or you can give through Giveify. You can drop off at our church, or you can use the mailing option. Let us pray. Faithful Father, thank you that you give the gift of abundant, eternal life. You have said that you are a good Father who gives us good gifts. Your generosity overflows to us. Everything we have is a gift from you. As we bring our offerings to you today, we give back to you from the abundant blessings you have given us. May our gifts be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our God. Blessing and glory, wisdom and thanksgiving, honor and power and strength be unto you, our God, forever and ever. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Oh, we thank God today. Amen. We just thank God for our um, sister, our Pastor Kiki. Oh, we thank God. We brought her from a long way. I watched her grow up a little bit. I thank God, amen. For it's a family thing, but it's the family of God. And we thank God. We thank God for uh, Dion. We thank God for the choir. We thank God for the church family, uh, Pastor Kiki's church family. Oh, we just thank God today for that word. We thank God oh, for blessing us to be here with such a, a, a strengthening word, a healing word, or oh, even a deliverance word. We thank God, amen. And we're just asking you, amen, to tune in and be with us next week as we come before you again with another dynamic word. God bless you. Now, may the grace of our Lord and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit. Rest, yes, 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 rest with us, Lord, and abide with us, Lord, and keep us, Lord, from all hurt, harm, pain, or danger. Oh, God, keep us, Lord, and bless us, God, as we love one another, God, until we meet again, in Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Yeah.